Well, I mean, immunotherapy came in with a vengeance, and I would say I'm one of the skeptics that wasn't sure it was going to have a place in lung cancer. But it rapidly moved from the second line setting into the frontline setting in a subset of biomarker enriched patients with high PD L1 expression. And now we see across the board studies showing combinations of chemoimmunotherapy are better than chemotherapy alone. This is true for small cell, it's true for non small cell. Though I would say I'm still a bit underwhelmed with the magnitude of advantage of the combination in an unselected patient population. So while it's very unusual for our patients to not receive an immunotherapy in the front line, uh, perhaps only those with an actionable oncogene driver mutation that's known at the time of therapy will not receive an immunotherapy. The questions today are single agent versus chemoimmunotherapy. I think we have a long way to go. So we've come this far really quickly, but we have a long way to go in terms of understanding who needs the combination. Is there the option to sequence drugs? Um, and who really are those durable responders to monotherapy? We've done a lot by selecting by PDL1, but we can probably do better, and we definitely owe it to our patients to invest into this biomarker research.